I've had a chat yesterday over the past couple of nights with our team. And yesterday I had a chat with Nelson Rousseau. The way the things are set up now, talented young riders without money or sponsors find it very difficult to find a way in the bigger way. What you, are we going in the right direction? What do you think? I think the Egyptian team is super. You have some really good riders. For sure now they just need to build up their horses and they need the Egyptian government. You know, they get a lot out of it as well. They will get a lot out of it if they have riders competing all over the world and winning. Because it brings. Uh, once the standard comes up, everything comes up and it's very good for the country. Uh, I think they've got really the basics to put a good team together. Now they just maybe need a bit more money behind and everything, all the doors can open. Fantastic. And, and regarding the difference between the five star shows that where you only have to pay so much money or by invitation versus people like the Egyptians who cannot get with that kind of money or might not necessarily have the power to or the contact to put themselves in. Yes. Uh, is that the same for the Europeans as well? Yes, I mean, I've been jumping for a long time and we could always, we knew a lot of people and we could get into shows. Now those favors are sort of gone. Mm. Now you pay or you nothing. So that's why these these three three star shows here in Morocco have been great because it was, we, we, we could jump and uh, really good experience and it's a really good stepping stone to the next level. Money is a big issue. It's a big issue in show jumping at the moment. But do you think the FEI should sort of keep a spotlight on that subject in the future to keep that sport going rather than only the industry going? Sure. Uh, I mean, at the moment, if you don't have money behind you, it's, it's, it's so difficult. So they have to really look at it. And it's a shame, I think, that we don't allow more teams into the Olympics, that we have to qualify for the Olympics. That's really, really, really difficult. Because when I, I jumped in Athens at the Olympics, and we qualified, but that opened so many doors for me. And for the likes of Sami and uh, the Egyptian riders, if, if they can jump on their Olympic team, it, it opens doors. People are so proud of you. and. Um, it's very good for sponsorship because it's, it's, good, it's good for them too and um, I think that's the one thing that they're doing wrong at the moment in the sport that they've closed the Olympics to two and um, they don't allow enough teams through. We'll do our best to voice this opinion left and right and to the right people. Yeah, well I'm really convinced about that because otherwise it's just money counts and if they open the doors a little bit more, it's amazing. An outsider can have a chance to win an Olympic medal. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's the way the Olympics used to be. It always get people the chance and the heart to keep fighting for it because it was one day you had a chance to go there. And there was some light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah, some light at the end of the tunnel. And you know, it only takes one good horse to make a champion. It's like the, the horse quickly from Morocco is an amazing horse. And like he is, he's able to compete everywhere in the world. And before that, they never had such a top horse that was in the limelight. Absolutely. We thank you so much for your time. All right.